Police use drones more and more, but they also come with some concerns. Case in point, the city of Robbinsdale, which considered a policy this week to use the tiny unmanned aircraft. Police can use drones in life-saving missions, warrant searches, or natural disasters, but it's against state law to use them for random surveillance. This past week, some residents and city leaders raised concerns about privacy issues. I'm concerned about warrantless, uh, warrantless use. Public safety is clearly an issue, but I think that there are other ways to accomplish that that are more um, in line with making sure that people have a very positive relationship with police in the city of Robbinsdale, that they're seen instead of being sort of flying over, overhead. I think the community is aware that uh, it could be beneficial, but I think the pushback is about privacy, about the overuse and misuse. Robbinsdale City Manager Tim Sandvik said the city's program is in line with state and federal law, but the city can update it if need be. A new children's book celebrates different backgrounds by taking the reader around the dinner table. The author wants more stories like this for readers like her. When I saw it, I was crying on the inside because it was so powerful and it just brought this whole new dimension to the story. The pages of Shannon Gibney's newest book, Sam and the Incredible African and American Food Fight, are full of vibrant scenes from around a more typical than you might think dinner table. There's just not many stories where you see families like that represented. Um, and that was really like the impetus for the story was I wanted to write something for my son so that he could really see our family also represented in literature. And On Monday, Sam was hungry. Sam is the kid in the book, and Boise is Gibney's son. Both are the children of African-American and Liberian parents. The incredible food fight happens every night in his house as different relatives want different foods for dinner. It's not like he doesn't like Liberian food or he doesn't like the spaghetti and the pizza and the tacos, standard American dishes that his mom is making. He likes both of them, but there's just not enough room in his stomach. So your siblings, so who am I making it out to? At a book launch event this week at North Hennepin Community College, Gibney signed books. Bob makes flour, sugar, yeast, and salt from homemade pizza crust and shared her story through Sam's. Kids having to navigate their parents' backgrounds and parents kind of having to make some compromises and find new ways to sort of combine their cultures. We can figure things out in our families. It's not going to be all sort of tiptoeing through the tulips and sing kumbaya and everybody's happy all the time. We know that families aren't like that. With Sam and his story spreading the word of acceptance and branching out to families everywhere. Rusty Ray, CCX News. The book will be available in stores starting on April 26th. A new auto dealership is coming to Golden Valley. Genesis is the high-end branch of Hyundai's vehicle line. Golden Valley City Council approved the new dealership, which will be south of 394, between the Jaguar Land Rover and Toyota dealerships. And a five-story parking ramp will also go on that site. For more than 50 years, Mark Lauer has designed one-of-a-kind pieces of jewelry. He runs a store on Main Street in Maple Grove, but now Lauer is retiring and the store will close. As Sarah Allen reports, the jeweler is linked to many precious memories. This is a piece with Tahitian and white pearls. Visit Mark Lauer. What is so great about our industry is really we're using precious metal and stones, but what we're really creating are gifts of love. And you can feel the passion in what he does. The jewelry designer has been creating gifts of love ever since his brother's friend asked him to make earrings to fulfill an order. He came home, set me up with a little kit on making jewelry, paid me 50 cents a pair. At the time, he was 16 years old. Jewelry making techniques have changed greatly over the 50 years Lauer has been at his craft. There's a system called Matrix and it's used for the designing jewelry uh, on computer and um, I started out on 1.0 and we're now on our 10th version. The program creates three-dimensional photos of jewelry. It can also help create 3D printed models that clients can try on. You could grow even 12, 15 rings or pendants or whatever at a time. The jeweler makes and sells his pieces in a location that's a far cry from where he's been. I changed the basement of my home into a manufacturing facility and we did casting, polishing everything down there initially. 
Lauer was glad to leave the basement as the business grew and he needed more space and security. For 15 years, he's been operating Mark Michael Diamond Designs out of his current storefront. I've just been incredibly blessed that we moved here. Now he feels like it's the right time to make a move again. Incredibly bittersweet decision. I've had so many people come in and just tell me how important I was in their life for these different things, and it's, it's been really heart-touching. Although Lauer plans to retire, there's a home studio in the works where he'll continue to design his one-of-a-kind pieces. I literally have probably 40 sketchbooks filled with designs, many of which I've never had the time or opportunity to make. In Maple Grove, Sarah Allen, CCX News. Lauer will move to Florida to be closer to his daughter. No word what may take the store's place in Maple Grove. It's a city known for large stands of maple trees, so Arbor Day is kind of a big deal in Maple Grove. The city will celebrate Arbor Day Saturday, April 29th at the Maple Grove Community Center. There's a variety of activities and educational opportunities for families. The U of M Master Gardeners will answer questions. There will also be a reptile zoo exhibit and birds from the Raptor Center. Yeah, we expect a pretty healthy crowd. There's always a lot of people that come in, flow in. We have a lot of freebies too. So we have tree seedling giveaways. We have a raffle um, for bigger shade trees. And then the kids raffle I already mentioned. The Maple Grove Arbor Day celebration is noon until three on April 29th. Kids will be able to enjoy arts and crafts and there will be raffle prizes as well.